Okay, so I have here an air conditioned remote control infrared and I want to fix it. The problem is that the power button is not responding. If I'm pressing it, you can see that it is not transmitting. Now I will give you a tip how to know if a remote control infrared is transmitting. You can use your phone on a camera and then I will show how it is. When I'm pressing you can see uh, the purple. This means that it is transmitting. So what I want to do is to explain that usually you have to clean the contact but this doesn't always work and even if it is working it is for a short period of time. So the better way is of course to fix uh, the connection uh, itself meaning the contact and I will show how to do it I have never by the way done it before so for me it is really the first time trying to do it so first we will unscrew the two screws of the remote and then after doing it you have to use an opening tool, which is a flat top. Okay, this one will block, and I will have to find it later. Hopefully, I will find it. Okay, the opening tool is any iPhone or opening tool. You have a clips, you never know where the clips are, so. <laughs> Just try not to break them, and even if you break them, usually you will be able to attach it again, hopefully. So gently I am doing this section. And up, it was open pretty quick. And I will try not to lose this, these screws. But first, I will have to use the correct screwdriver. I see it is okay. <coughs> Doing the unscrew now. We put them in the side, not to lose them. This is the third and the fourth is the last. So when opening it, you have all your PCB, which is a good thing to um, clean them with alcohol or any uh, other way without uh, leaving uh, water remarks on. Uh, the connection. The problems are in this connection. This is uh, made of a uh, conduct, uh, but the conduct over the time is uh, not working very well. So let's bring some alcohol and do the cleaning. Okay, so I have here isoprofil. Isoprofil which is alcohol in a high percentage of alcohol compared to the water and the best way is not to use any tiny thing and just go over and do this a few times and then you are done also you should do it on the contacts But again, the contacts will never work good enough like using this uh, glue, conduct glue, or it is called wire glue. So let's try to work with it. Hopefully it will work well. So I will try, here is the power. This is the main button that doing all the problem to me, this one. So let's open it.
I will use my screw to open it and let's see what we have inside what is the conduct glue I have some conduct glue now on my hand I will use the screwdriver and apply the conduct glue just like this a little bit we will do also on the other conductor I think this is enough because these are the problematic ones we clean my screwdriver and now I will try to touch it a little in order to flatten the glue. And eventually, probably this is all needs to be done. But I want also to do another action so it will be a little better. So, in a second, we will do another thing. No. So, I will use again <coughs> this tiny cotton tool. I think this is enough. Yes, I think this is enough. And now we wait. Maybe need to apply a little heat now. But I hope this is okay now, so let's assemble everything back. So I have my four screws back in the places. Let's close them before closing. Again, I want to make sure that everything is in the correct place. In a second, we'll check it. It's okay. Looks okay. For closing, I can attach the batteries like this and check it. You can see that now it is working. I have the mark here that while pressing very, uh, let's say, without strength, it is working okay. So I think this is fixed, and this is what I want to show you. And hopefully, this will help anyone. I will put a link in the description where to buy this uh, glue. And thank you, and bye bye.